Oh, Bulbasaur doesn't feel very good. Ugh. Oh, someone, no! <laughs> the corruption is saying, no Pikachu, don't do it. Whoa, whoa. Ah, there we go. Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. The final installment in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. All right, now that we got good corruptions going, let's head in. Finally, I finally found you. I came here just to find you, you know? Please come and lend us your strength. Keep touching the lower screen. Okay. Sparkle, sparkle, here it comes. We're going to the Pokemon world. Shit. All right, all right, we heard this already. Oh, I love this song. This path of light is the link between our two worlds. Complete the following prompts with an honest and open heart. Awaken the true Pokemon form that slumbers within you. A nerve-wracking first day at school. Oh, please don't remind me. You want to make friends with someone you just met. What do you do? Uh, wait nervously for them to talk to you. Two of your friends are fighting, and you wish they'd stop. What do you do first? Wonder what the real issue is between them? Jump right into the fray to make them stop. Oh, I'm much more of a ponderer. Whoa! Light rays! Everyone at school is talking about this great new book, but it's big and long. Uh, of course you get it. They say it's great. Uh, you don't want to read anything that's long. If it's a video game series that's long, then I would then it would be different. Xenoblade? Definitely worth it. You've been hiking up a mountain for two hours but still haven't reached the peak. You give up on it and head home. No, you pump yourself up for one last push. Literally, if you're already there, might as well complete it. You want to jump rope during recess, but everyone else wants to play tag. You're making me feel like a kid again. You give in and play tag with your friends. You convince all your friends to play jump rope. No, I, I'd probably give in. I mean, I like both of them. Equally. Spring, summer, fall, or winter? Which season do you like the best? Winter! When everyone goes to sleep. Alright, vacation time at last. What kind of music fits your mood? I'll say EDM. What would be the best word to describe your partner? Cool. Cute. Cool. Let's go cool. I need someone uh, cool in my life. Oh, this is hard to read. Some people work hard in the background. You're one of those, aren't you? <laughs> uh, when you're not around, things don't go well. Everyone can always count on you. Someone who pulls the strings in the background like that must be a puppeteer. Oh my god. I was. I hope it didn't crash. Okay, what's wrong with Trico? Um, uh, okay, so what I love about this game series is that they really get me. They always, well, no, not always. The first game I think I got picked like Pikachu and Pepper, it was inconsistent. But ever since Explorer of Sky, I've always been Toto Dial. It's insane. I guess. I'm just a total doll kind of guy. I mean, look at how cute he is. He's a little alligator. Pico, are you the only one that's messed up like that? Yay, total doll. Is this the right Pokemon for you? Uh, I want to say yes, but I also want to see the rest of the cast first. So let's say no first. Um, <laughs> Pico, are you okay? Pico is one of my favorite Pokemon still. It's literally only Trico that looks so messed up. 
I would like to pick one of the newer generations because you don't really see them in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series that often. Huh? Uh, <laughs> what? That's uh, that's very sudden, <laughs> Chikorita. What happened to your face? <laughs> that looks like she became a Caterpie. Oh, oh wait, who is this? Squirtle? Oh my god. Oh, Bulbasaur doesn't feel very good. Froakie is just dead. Those eyes are dead. <laughs> Everyone was cross-eyed. Oh, someone, no! <laughs> wait, are those supposed to be typical eyes? Oh, oh, this corruption is great, this. Wow, oh man. It just makes everyone look cross-eyed, except for people. People is fine. Oh no. Mudkip, oh! Uh, a little- Oh! Also what? Oh, Pikachu too! Oh, they become statified. The static has taken over, and this, that white box in the middle of the screen, that's not something I edited in. That's literally there. That's, <laughs> it's quite annoying. Alright, we still have to choose a partner, and now I'm stuck. I was convinced that I would pick Trico, but let's let the corruption tell us who to pick. <laughs> the corruption is saying, no Pikachu, don't do it. Uh, oh, there's something wrong with Charmander still. Wait, why is Charmander constantly sad? I don't think Charmander wants to go on this journey. Look at him, he's so sad. Oh. Um... Riolu doesn't even want to look at us, so that's a few excluded already. <laughs> like a bitch is just saying, no, not me. Oh. Uh. Ah, the water is blue, but you know we can't pick a water type, right? Is this the right partner for you? A grass type and a water type? Are you sure about that? Yeah, let's do it. We'll have our chest pin be named Prickly. He's all Prickly. You'd like to go with the name Prickly? Yeah. He's perky, he's Prickly. Oh my god. Uh, um, <laughs> I do look very goofy from the front. I just... Are you satisfied with these Pokemon? Yes. Then it's time for us to go to the world where Pokemon await. Your grand adventure is... <laughs> adventure? Grand adventure is about to begin. Into the mist. All life in this world is said to have been born from the same source. The sun and the stars, the skies and the seas, and even Pokemon are all bound together as one. Ooh, the earth looks a bit different than I remember. The Pokemon Company Spike Shunstuff presents. Um. What was that? <gasps> the Oxus! <laughs> Gasp. Is that. <laughs> oh! That was a weird angle. It's every bit as intimidating as I'd heard. But I thought it inhabited the ozone layer. Why has it come past the stratosphere? <laughs> Something strange must be afoot here on this planet. Yeah, I don't think the Yuxus realize. Those that live on this planet and those that have come to this planet. Long chapter name. Where am I? I feel like someone was calling me. But I'm not sure. What's going on? I can't remember. Where am I? What is this place? My head is pounding. Yeah? I can never remember anything. Wait, do I know my name? Okay, at least I remember that. I can't remember anything else though. What's going on here? I'm parched. I need to find some water. <laughs> That's what I sound like when I'm parched. 
Oh, over there. I'm a water type. Can't I make my own water? Oh, I, I feel alive again. It's incredibly delicious. Never has water tasted so good. Oh, okay. Calming down now. Yeah. I can see something reflected on the surface. It's... I... What? What's going on? I have... No reflection! I'm invisible! Is it even possible? Have I become invisible? What? Wh wh why? Bam. Oh no, everyone's invisible! Bam. What is that? Wow! What's the deal all of a sudden? Why is everyone invisible? Uh, uh, somebody help! Oh! Over there! <laughs> oh, what's wrong? What are you all on a fuss for? Did a Pokemon just... Oh, whoa! What did I do to you? Um, you know, turn inside out? Oh, sorry! I'm Nuzly. I'm all. It's all right now. Just, just calm down. Okay. I'm a total down now too, so I guess I can understand Pokemon. Huh? Whoa! What in the world was that quick attack? Oh shit! I'm scared. <laughs> Moonwalking. Oh no! Ain't that one of them mystery darn dungeons up ahead? <laughs> ah, there ain't no other way to go. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. The open pass. <laughs> what was that? These mystery dungeons sure are mysterious, all right. Okay, let's see. Um. Um. Don't remember which button is which. Water gun, that's the most important one. That's the ticket, that's how you use your moves to battle of these ordinary folk. I'm struggling. Whew. I reckon we should have used a little break. But the village that attacked all, us all of a sudden. A kind of Pokemon called Behem, I do believe. I reckon. What are they following you for? You caused them some kind of trouble? I, I don't know if this was the voice I'm doing. I'm really bad at voice. Why, your childish pranks even got me caught up in your mess, I reckon. Childish? What? What? Do I look like a child or something? I mean, I have a total down. It's a baby. Uh, never mind that. Though, what I should be focusing on now is... Hmm? You reckon you don't know why they were attacking you? What now? You ain't got no memories at all? Mm-hmm. I'm into the ground now. I'm there. Can't remember nothing but your name, Malaysius. Hey. And you say you ain't even a Pokemon at all, but a human? That's all you reckon you can remember? Wait, what? A, a human? Oh. <laughs> that, that flickering light, I can see it, but I'm not in the ground. I reckon that the light from be here. I reckon we ought to get running. <laughs> now I'm in the ground. Oh, next part, Lush Forest. Oh, I remember this song. Ah, we gotta get away from the sellers and fast. The rushing headlong right here will likely land us in a whole other heap of trouble. Now, the first thing you gotta know about Mystery Dungeons is every time you make a move, your enemies do the same. Whoa! This shout to attack an enemy Pokemon will quite likely do the same. But on the other hand, they can't do nothing if you don't do nothing. So there's no need to make a fuss. Slow down and think your moves through. That's one thing you might ought to remember. Whoa! I look like chicken wings. But I can just use water gun. Are your ears just for decoration? Did I say you faint first? Okay, fine. Whatever. That's the ticket. Now keep on dragging them fellas right to you. <laughs> Did you see the water? It needs to come from my mouth. All the way down. <laughs> but my mouth is so high up. Bigger, so I'm huge. That's really cool programming though. Well, we're in dark lands now. So this is going to become a bit tougher. Uh, belly is not important right now. 
There's a sleeping Pokemon? You kill him. Yeah, yeah. good job. <laughs> I think we done lost the beam. We lost him. I uh, reckon. Sure. Try to beat. But I... Whoa, wait, what happened to you, fella? <laughs> I don't know, I'm blue now. But I calculate we got away from them troublemakers. Concern it. You sure did drag me into a fine mess. And me having nothing to do with any of it. But I reckon I could forgive you this one time, as being alright and all. Adios, friend. I'll be heading home now. I reckon you ought to be careful on your own way home, too. Ah, but then you done carried on about yourself being a human or some such. So that make you from the human world. Mm -hmm. That sure enough is a hard pill to swallow, alright? Supposing I did believe you, then what in the world are you fixing to do now? Got no idea, huh? Hardly a surprise. Well, I can't pay no mind. No, never mind. As to whether you're fixing to sleep tonight, you might better go find you someplace. Good luck to you, friend. Fatty Bell. <laughs> I have nowhere to go. Eh. <laughs> oh, he left. <laughs> Whew. Thank God. Ah, concern it all. Don't go looking at me with them baby doll eyes. Why, them be him might come along and attack again at any moment. I can hardly leave no child here alone in such conditions, no, sir. I calculate our plum uh, uh, plum out of options. You can come to my place. No. What? Why are you such a little so-and-so? I invite you over out of the kindness of my heart and you turn up your nose like that? Um, <laughs> I, I guess we're stuck like this now. Wow! Why are you such a little so-and-so? I invite you over out of the kindness of my heart and you turn up your nose like that? Mm-hmm. Oh, what could it be? Mm. Mm, I see how things are. I sure enough did just try to abandon you right there. Mm, yeah, you seem like the kind of fella who leave a kid all alone. But don't you hold none of that against me. Ain't no reason to be scared. Fine, I'm sorry, I was in the wrong. So please come stay with me, won't you? No, that's a pity, I'm begging you. I mean, I sure would appreciate it if you came along and stay with me. No, that's a pity, I'm begging you. I mean, I sure would appreciate it if you come along. All right, let's say yes. Yeah, I reckon we might ought to get moving. My village is just over yonder. Now, it is a it is a fair bit of a walk, so... I reckon you might better stick real close to me and don't go getting lost. So, Alicia's ended up heading to Nesli's village together with him. Traveling down deep valleys and up over rugged hills. Camping out beneath the stars when night fell upon them. Until, at long last... Oh, there it is! You can see now! I reckon we're finally there. Oh, you see that there lake? That there little village on the shore is where I live. Serene village. So it's a serene vi we're nearly there now. I reckon we should push on. I'm scared to see how corrupted it gets there. And Delicious, once a human and now brought to this world as a Pokemon. With no memory <laughs> with no memory of what had been left behind came to Serene Village. To the village where Elysius is destined to meet a certain Pokemon. Who will become the partner of a lifetime in the adventures ahead. Oh no! The flood took over the village! <gasps> His partner ended up dead. The end. Oh, I guess that is the end. <laughs>